How are ya people? Welcome to Tommy Says, a new video series from Tommy's Outdoors. Last week, Channel 4 presented a documentary called Apocalypse Cow, and that film made a lot of people very upset. Um, the film uh, proclaims the imminent end of farming, and obviously if you're a farmer, you don't like that because you can see that film as anti-farming propaganda. I watched that documentary, and to be honest, I found it quite good and quite accurate. However, I don't see the end of farming in that film. What I do see is the end of veganism. What? So in case you don't know, that film shows the damage to the environment caused by farming, by the agriculture and mass food production, and then showcases a startup in Finland that produces a flower from bacteria. The promise is that with the involvement of some elaborated chemical processes, they should be able to produce any and all types of food, including meat, from the same bacteria. And that is presented as the revolution that will allow us to repurpose the land, to rewild, take care of the environment, tackle climate change, etc. etc. So let's unpack this. First of all, that's not the end of farming. That's just a different farming. That's bacteria farming. We learn how to farm crops and then animals and we farming algae. So the next thing is we are gonna be farming bacteria. Besides, if we keep on the current trajectory, uh, in some time in the future, there will be nothing else left to farm other than bacteria. Secondly, that's artificial food. And again, that's nothing new. Uh, by the standards of our grandparents or grand-grandparents, food that we have at the moment is artificial. They wouldn't recognize that as something natural to eat. So that's natural progression to more and more artificial foods produced more and more efficiently. And that's what we do. That's what allow us such a massive overproduction of food. And uh, that's exactly what massive food companies are doing. On that note, I kind of found it funny that the film was interrupted by ads by Nestle and other big food companies advertising some uh, highly processed crap food. And really, that film was about that, about the future of producing even more artificial crappy food. Another thing that I found it funny, remember in episode 38 of Tommy Seldor's podcast, kind of our guest was uh, John Gibbons. He's a campaigning journalist who deals with climate change. And he got very upset on Twitter when I think uh, Richard Branson tweeted something about artificial food and a production of artificial meat. And uh, his line, John's line was like, uh, if people like Brunson talk about food and saving planet, now we truly f <laughs> <laughs> So fast forward number of months and his buddy, George Monbiot, presents that film, Apocalypse Cow, and presents essentially the same thing. But this time, it's great. It's a way to save the world. So that's, that's kind of uh, something worth noting, that depending who presents the same thing, it's either good or bad. You know, the reality is, if that Finnish startup is successful in any shape or form, one of the big food companies will purchase them and will start producing even more cheap food. So the net result will be that we will have that artificial food that is cheap and for poor people, and the rich people will be able to still afford much more expensive natural foods farm from farmed animals and produced in a sort of traditional way. Now let's talk about the argument that that technology allows you to produce a lot of food using very small space. And that should be the way we're gonna save the planet. And that, that argument doesn't stand for me. Uh, you know good and well that there's a still hunger in the world and the cause of that hunger is not the lack of food. We have a massive overproduction of food. So the ability to produce even more food on a small space doesn't necessarily mean that all of a sudden we're going to stop producing all the other food, which is going to produce more food in a more efficient way. Big companies always looking for efficiencies. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, one, we're going to get rid of farming, because like I said, rich people will still want to use and eat uh, proper food. 
And uh, that also doesn't mean that we're going to get rid of uh, farming and we're going to immediately use that land for rewilding and restoration of nature. Uh, you know, people may decide to build more, more golf courses or airports. So uh, one thing doesn't mean the other. Oh, sorry for interruption. Just one other thought I had, obviously, after recording the main video. I think that the first product they make actually might be animal feed. I would imagine it's easier to get the animal food to mass production than food for humans. So farmers actually might be the ones who will benefit from this technology. And now let's get back to the main video. So as you can tell, I don't see in that film the end of farming, nor the way to uh, restore the nature and rewild the planet en masse and save the world. What I do see, however, is potentially the end of veganism. And here's why. And by vegans, I don't mean dietary vegans, the folks who decided to eat only plants. I mean ethical vegans, especially those militant ones who wants to make everybody else to be just like them to save the planet. You see, a lot of PR money for ethical veganism comes from big food companies who just love the idea of efficiently producing even more food from cheap plant-based ingredients. Now, with this technology, they will promptly switch to produce, even in a more efficient way, uh, food from bacteria. So that will cut the stream of funding for ethical veganism on one end. On the other hand, I already see some folks who will argue that bacteria also deserve to live and they cannot eat food from uh, produced from bacteria. So they will stick with current farming. So I can see this group becoming increasingly starved of funding, fragmented, and fighting with each other because we know those people are very emotional and quite frankly very aggressive and nothing heralds the end of something like internal conflict. And finally, the closing scenes of the film, the presenter, a known vegan, goes and shoots the deer. He roasts the deer at the campfire and says something like, this feels right because it was done with no ecological damage. Great! Hunters will love that! That's a great case for hunting. Uh, just imagine that. Rewild massive amounts of land, made them full of game animals, and hunt them for food. So, Apocalypse Cow is about evolution of farming, progressive development of highly processed foods, end of veganism, and a great case for hunting. Works for me. Let me know what you think. Leave the comments down below. I'm really curious about your opinion. And don't forget to like and share this video. And I see you in the next one.